Good morning, Lindsay. Thanks for letting me uh, edit a few of your pictures uh, with Mastin's Ilford presets. Uh, we're going to do all the editing in Photoshop. Um, it would have been nice, preferably, to get the, the raw files uh, and be able to to manipulate them from there but this for the for the sake of this it's it, it's really not going to matter so i'm going to open up the first one in photoshop and she is probably the most adorable ever <laughs> so i'm going to go over to filter camera raw filter over to the presets and then i'm going to scroll down to ilford Pan F35 has quite a bit of grain in it, you can see here. Um, and that's, I mean, grain's always to taste. I mean, editing in itself is always to taste, but we'll start there. Um, and then we're going to start tweaking a little bit. I think I'm going to take that down. Uh, they don't do any sharpening out of out of the box so you'll have to adjust that I'm not sure if you pre-sharpen these JPEGs before you send them to me so I'm just gonna leave that alone the one area sometimes it kinda gets on my nerves with Ilford and most of the mast and presets is the contrast is cranked up really high it's easy easily taken care of in Photoshop if you want more contrast you can just always add a uh, add a layer and then drop the contrast down a little bit so I'm gonna drop the highlights just a little bit as well take those down maybe drop the exposure just a little bit and it's always to taste some people I mean I I tend to edit a little darker than others but like I said for the for the sake of this I mean you can kind of see we're, we're starting off with something pretty nice so that's with just some minor tweaks and you can see that there's there's quite a bit of grain in here so I'm going to step back, undo that, and then we'll move on to the next preset, which is Ilford's 35 mil, or I'm sorry, Pan F medium format. This one has less grain. Uh, you still get a lot of the, the, it's pretty high contrast, so you still get all that. And then I would just tweak it down just a little bit. Maybe darken just a little bit there. And maybe up the blues just a little bit. And you can see that the the grain in this one by default is significantly lower. Alright, let's do the next one. HP 5 35 millimeter this one has kind of a matte more of a matte look to it once again I dropped the exposure down just a little bit I personally stick to the first two uh, when I'm when I'm editing with Ilford Pan F 35 millimeter and Pan F medium format uh, but the other ones are all right too uh, you also get all of these uh, these tools, I should say, you know, all hard. So that's going to be your your shadow, <clears throat> hard shadows and hard highlights, all soft, soft shadows and soft highlights. Um, and then you can do these other filters. I don't ever use these. Sometimes I guess the cool tone paper is kind of nice just because it cools up the whole image. But warm tone and all that other stuff I don't really get into. Um but you can all these adjustments here. I mean, I think it's just more or less just to kind of speed up your process. But I I normally do everything by hand uh, after I apply the preset. So HP thirty five millimeter, HP thirty five millimeter. Uh, me, I'm sorry, HP five medium format, which is nice on this on this photo. And then Delta and Delta medium format. I think out of all the ones here, because I, I like the medium format. I like the high contrast, the deep blacks. And then, you, like I said, you can adjust your grain to taste. <clears throat> and that's pretty nice there. So let's switch over. Let's bring in this one as well. HP 
and then it looks like the focal point here is on her lashes which I think would will make a nice black and white photo I like black and whites for a lot of the detail photos oh I hit the grain I'm sorry reset grain Medium format Let's just click through these and see which one we like the most. And once again, I'm still drawing back to Pan F medium format. Probably drop the highlights down a little bit, up the shadows a little bit, maybe a little bit more blacks, just because I like high contrast. Maybe add just a touch of clarity. Sharpen, depending on to taste and I think I would darken oranges a little bit Let's see what the yellows are doing I darken the yellows just a little bit too blues she must have a little bit of blue in her in her shirt I'd bring some of those in probably leave the purples where they were and magentas what I'm looking at right here is I, I like the design on her shirt so I'm just kind of doing that by uh, seeing so that we can show a little bit of the design on her shirt and then reds I think I'll leave I don't know somewhere right in there in this particular photo I would I, I think I would have some grain in it um, like I said before, you 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 can adjust you can adjust it all the way that you want, but I would probably up the grain just a little bit in this photo, and I like that. I like that now. I can see the designs on her shirt, uh, all this bokeh over here on the left hand side, and then you have her pretty eyelashes that are the focal point. I hope that this this video helps you. Uh, I really like the Ilford presets. Like I said, editing is all always all to to your personal taste, but I think it gives you a good starting point, specifically on the Pan F presets. Have a good day.